everyone, my name is Erica and today we're going to be teaching you how to make a standard carnation lay. So I have my lay twine and my lay needle both available here at Northwest Wholesale. Um, and I'm just going to make a little knot at the end of my string that I have pre-cut. Uh, most lays you want to make them about 40 inches for single lays. Uh, but because we're doing an extra fat lay, we're going to make it 50 inches so it sits correctly on the neck and it doesn't look really short. So I've just made a little knot in the end of my string. And I'm going to hook my lay needle on. And all I'm going to do is insert my needle into the bottom of the flower so it's on the stem. And then I'm going to peel the calyx right off. And that's going to cause our carnation to fluff open. So I have lavender and purple. I'm going to do a pattern of two lavender and two purple just to color block it a little bit more. And once these get on here, I'm going to get a, a group of them, about four, and I'm going to pull it down to the end of my string. And then you just start the process over again. Put it right through the needle, through the needle, through the hook. Fluff it out. So we're going to go ahead and make some more of this and then uh, we'll come back when we're finishing up. And I just want to point out that we're actually using the Floragene carnations that you can get here at Northwest. Uh, this is Moon Vista and this is Moon Light. Uh, they make a really, really awesome pretty lay. So I'm just going to finish it up and then we're going to tie it off. I also like to leave the calyx on here uh, just as stability as you're pushing it onto the needle. If you take it off before, uh, the carnation can actually break off of the stem. So you want to make sure you're leaving that on before you're pushing it onto the needle and then removing it. I'm just going to hold this up to make sure that it's the right length that it should be. And that looks like it's a pretty uh, good length. So now I'm going to tie it off. And all I'm doing is taking both sides of my string and just tying a double knot. You want to make sure you leave extra string when you start so you can tie it off at the end. So I'm going to make sure that's nice and tight. And maybe one more just for good measure. And then I'm gonna do some cuts. And then you have your leg. 